What's going on YouTube? This is Motor City Autographs. I'm coming back at you folks here with a long overdue IP recap. I apologize with that. My school is basically over on the 19th and I've got an internship and a bunch of stuff going on this summer, but basically I'm just, <coughs> sorry about that. I'm just basically trying to just finish up uh, pretty quick and, you know, just try and finish out strong because um, to me, that's all that really matters to me and not posting videos and plus it really hasn't been that much to do around here anyways uh there's a couple signings going on this weekend in april i mean that's the start of baseball season and you know that's going to be starting up here pretty soon and i'll be able to do a lot of that during the year anyways but for the most part um i haven't really done as much graphing as i probably should for the nba but I'm kind of getting worn out with it but anyways i went to go graph the minnesota timberwolves on march the 26th um, it was all right. It was actually a huge crowd for the event. I was really surprised by that. And the only people that I didn't have anything for was Michael Gellaby and Chris Johnson and Malcolm Lee and Andre Kirilenko were the only ones that did not come out. Um, well, Michael Gellaby and Chris Johnson, like I said, didn't have anything for them. Uh, I didn't even know who Gellaby was. I guess these guys had cards from him when he was like an 09 or whatever, playing back in Texas or Arkansas or whatever the hell he played at. And then Chris Johnson, like I said, and the other two were injured, so it kind of sucks. But in the long run, I think I got 18 autographs, and I did all right, actually. I think I did pretty good. So um, I'm going to get started here with it, it's all cards. Um, I did get one floorboard, though, of Alexi Shved. I, sorry, I can't find that right now, but, I can't find it right now, but I did get a floorboard of Alexi Shved. So, for me, I'm alright with that. So, I got three out of five from Chase Budinger. He was really cool, but he kept skipping around, and I had a sheet of six out, or a sheet of five out for him two hoops and three of these college cards and he only signed two it was it was really effing weird dude i told him like go cats and how was your experience in arizona and then he signed a third one for me but i he's weird but at least he signed the hoops so that's all that matters to me so otherwise i was pretty cool um i actually ran over to the piston side and i got some autographs over there so let me just sort through these here quickly um I'll just sort through these here quickly. I got two from Kim English. One and two. And then I got three from Nikola Pekovic. His autograph's terrible. I don't know why. It is what it is, I guess. <laughs> um, at least he signed them all, so... I don't really care. It's crap, though. Just look at it and the way it is. It's just, it's real crap. But, you know, it was all right, I guess. So, two and three. Right there. I got one from Greg Steamsma. Right there. By the way, I like the new Panini basketball that they have out. That product looks really nice. And I have bought a lot of it. And I plan on using it a lot more. So, it's kind of cool. Anyways, got this Derek Williams Prestige. It's really nice. Card number 152. So that's going to go into the Prestige pile. And then I ended up getting... It was really weird. Luke Ridenauer signed 1 of 4 for me. I had a season update out there for me. He signs this one. I was trying to point to it, but whatever. So, I mean, I'll take it. I'll probably just get him to sign the other one next year. Got this Dante Cunningham. Um, college card signed in blue. I love my silver sh or my blue sharpie. It's it's really uh breaking out now. And this was signed in black, but that's all right. This is signed by JJ Barea. I think I had an extra one for him as well. But that's all right. So that goes towards the hoops. The two best autographs of the night. I ended up getting Ricky Rubio. Not a lot of people did, but I basically stuck my binder out and I kind of screwed a couple people over that I know. But you know what can you do? So I got him on a card. I feel bad because. And I forgot my slam cover at home, um, but I, I still brought stuff with me to get them, so I, I'm fine with that. And by far the best one of the night is K-Love, right 
there. So, yeah, graphing the bulls on Sunday, so deuce.